Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Miss Michelle. Today I'm going to show you how to make another recipe from my Nana Van. It's a coffee cake, and it's very good. So for this recipe, you'll need flour, regular and brown sugar, some salt, uh, baking powder, cinnamon, two eggs, and some butter and milk. And you could certainly substitute gluten-free flour. And if you wanted to make it vegan, you could use vegan butter or coconut oil. And then um, some kind of non-dairy milk, either coconut milk, um, almond milk, whatever you prefer, soy milk. And for the eggs, you could substitute um, for each egg one quarter cup of mashed banana or applesauce plus a quarter teaspoon of baking powder so that's for each egg so you'd need a half a cup plus a half of a teaspoon for this recipe um, they also sell I saw some Bob's Red Mill egg replacer it's a powder um, I haven't tried it yet but Bob's Red Mill usually makes pretty good products so it might be something to check out so the first step I'm going to do is make a cinnamon brown sugar crumble that's going to be layered into my coffee cake. So in a separate little bowl, I'm going to do one and a half cups of brown sugar. And then I'm going to need two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna need three tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm just gonna melt this in the microwave. So I'm just gonna mix this with a fork. And then before I add my butter, I'm just gonna need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So just a little bit and if I add that first it's gonna be easier to mix in so it gets mixed really well with my dry ingredients before I add the butter and then I can stir in my butter and then once my butter is mixed in everything should be nice and moist but it's gonna be still Battery and crumbly. So then I'm just going to set that to the side. Now I'm going to sift. My recipe wants me to sift this. Now I don't have a sifter, so what I usually just do is use a one of these fine mesh strainers and that works just as well. And then I don't have to store a sifter in my kitchen because they're pretty big and my kitchen is not. So. I'm gonna add one and a half cups of flour. And then I need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And if I just kind of tap the side of this, or I can tap it on my bowl, it will go through the small metal holes and it makes it a little bit finer. And it, this is, exactly what a sifter does. It just has a flat one of these on the bottom of it and a little handle to help you push it through. So this is a good trick if you don't want to buy a sifter or if you need to use something in a pinch. And then I just get like a really fine um, powder, flour, and baking powder mixture. And then I'm going to add another quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I can just use my fork to stir this together. Okay, so I am going to use my KitchenAid mixer. If you don't have one, you can either just use a hand mixer or you can just use a fork or a spoon to mix your stuff together. This is not required. Um, it's just easy if you have it available. So I'm going to beat two eggs together. And while those are beating, I'm going to get one cup of sugar ready. Okay, 
So then it says to add one cup of sugar in small amounts. So I'm gonna add probably about a quarter cup at a time and then mix it together really well. Okay, and then I'm going to need to melt another quarter of a cup of butter, which is also four tablespoons. So usually it will measure the tablespoons for you on the outside of the packaging of the butter. So I can just cut what I need off the end here. And then this butter is already softened, so I'll probably just need to microwave it for a few seconds to melt it. So I'm just gonna mix this in. Okay, and then I'm supposed to add my dry ingredients a little bit at a time, alternating with a half of a cup of milk. So you can use your regular or non-dairy milk. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. pour in a little bit of my milk and I'll just keep alternating until everything is mixed together and it looks really smooth. And then if I need to I can just use a scraper and scrape the sides so I make sure everything is mixed together really well. Okay, so then once this is all mixed together, I'm gonna grab a square pan. And I'm gonna grease this, so I'm just gonna give it a little spray here. Make sure to get the sides. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a thin layer of the batter on the bottom of my pan. And I want to make sure to spread it around so it goes into all the corners, so one of these scrapers works really well. And then I'm going to sprinkle a layer of this brown sugar mixture over it. And then I'm going to just keep doing that probably three or four times until everything is used up and I want to make sure my brown sugar layer is the top layer. And then these middle layers you can't really spread too well so if some of the other layers are showing through that's okay. And I forgot to preheat my oven so I'm going to heat it to 350. And luckily my oven heats up pretty quick, so I won't have to wait too long. Okay, so I'm just going to spread this last layer around and mix it in a little bit. And then I'll cover the top with the rest of my brown sugar and cinnamon. Then I can either bake it like this, or if I want to drag a knife through the top, I can make a little swirly design and kind of swirl all the layers together. And then I'm going to bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes, and I'll come check on it and make sure it's done. Okay, so my cake took about an extra 10 minutes. It wasn't quite done after 30 minutes, but I have a gas oven and sometimes it doesn't cook things quite as fast, so yours will probably take the 30 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna pull it out. It looks delicious. And this cake is really good if you just 
cut it up and serve it warm. My family always likes to eat it on Christmas morning for breakfast, but it's good anytime. You can have it in the summer or Mother's Day, Father's Day, or just Sunday or anytime you feel like making it. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you like this project and happy copy cake baking.